What's up, guys? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Rihanna, I know you are rubbing your temples and being like, can someone please go get Drake? Drake needs a hug. Drake needs some love. He might even need a home-cooked meal. I, I don't understand. Why does Drake go get with Khloe Kardashian? I mean, I know besides the obvious, Drake ain't already had half the Kardashians. Khloe is not on his move board. Although, I saw Drake's mother, Drake's child, before she had all that plastic surgery. And I don't know, maybe he might like Khloe Kardashian. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Y'all, Rihanna is rubbing her head. Drake will not stop with his BS. People are saying that Drake's team has pushed a newly surfaced video and interview, guess what? talking on Rihanna. We also have a little bit of what's going on with ASAP Rocky's trial and the way ASAP Rally is really trying it. I'm not saying that ASAP didn't do it. I am saying that it sounds like he didn't do it and this is all a shakedown. There's some hilarious court testimony. If you guys don't know ASAP Rocky was just in court, we got to talk about that too. But first, let's talk about Drake because he really seems to be upset that Rihanna has two children, super happy, and if, and is with someone that's iller and realer than he'll ever be. That really seems like the problem. You are jealous. Again, Drake, in my mind, will always be, you know, a bad B, jolted. Think about it. And you're in your mid-20s to early 30s. You relate to the things Drake's saying on songs. Now, ask yourself, why somebody in their mid-20 woman and 30 literally have the mindset of where Drake is right now? I think that he is mad that Rihanna leveled up with somebody that looked better than him, got more talent than him. As far as, you know, into fashion, more popular, and just got swag. And that's what Drake always wanted. ASAP can dance his butt off. Drake, every time he tried to dance, well, we all know the paramedics are picking him off the floor. Anyway, right? Um, he talks about uh, women that influenced his music in the up in, a, in an upcoming New York Times profile. Now this has resurfaced, but people are saying that Drake's people are the ones that's pushing it up because they are trying to find ways to take shots at Rihanna. If this is true, I think it's sick. She is a mother. She just had a newborn. She's enjoying her life. You picking on uh, uh, Riot and uh, you picking on Riot and Riz's mommy, like Axel is still in her hands anyway, right? He said Rihanna used him as a pawn. <laughs> Listen, I'm not laughing at his pain, but I am laughing at his pain. Could you have said that any other way? Rihanna, she used me as a pawn. And she no, I said no, bad touch. I don't like this. No, stop, Rihanna, stop. But she wouldn't stop. She wouldn't stop. Drake, shut up. Mind you, this is a man that has dogged out so many women anyway, right? This was a profile of Drake's from the New York Times. In the story, he opens up about his childhood, the making of his breakout mixtape, So Far Gone, and also his fling with Brianna. Again, here's the thing. I don't really know what was happening back then. There were a lot of rumors going around, but it does look, you know what? Y'all saw what it looked like. Anyway, Drake said this. I was a pawn. He told the newspaper about his time with Rihanna, which began with an invite to pin a track for her. You know what she was doing to me? She was doing exactly what I've done to so many women throughout my life, which is to show them quality time, to disappear. I was like, wow, this feels terrible. So Rihanna, for whatever reason, I don't know, this might've been during her ages when she was drinking. For whatever, she had her beer goggles on. She decided to chill with you. And then she got to know the real you. And then she peaced out. But I wouldn't be admitting this if I were you, Drake. He channeled the experience into song, pinning a verse, fireworks, dedicated to Riri, though he never mentions her by name. This is what he wrote about Riri in his verse. I could tell it wasn't love. I just thought you'd F with me. Who could have predicted Lucky Strike would have to would have you stuck with me, right? This is supposed to be referring to Manhattan Bowling Alley where they purportedly made out. Now, mind you, Drake is the one spilling this. He said, damn, I kept my wits about me, luckily. Did you, fool? Because you literally given interviews and writing. 
What happened between us that night, it always seems to trouble me. Now all of a sudden these gossip rags want to cover me. Baby, you are the thirstiest. Shut up. And you making it seem like it happened that way because of me. So basically he is saying that Rihanna figured out that Drake was the one hiring paparazzi, leaking shots, doing all this dumb stuff. And she was like, peace out. Like, you are a sneaky link. I'm not trying to be seen in public with you. No, stop it, right? Later, um... Okay, hold on. Anyway, Drake was literally on that BS. Now, I find it, like, really, very interesting and very funny that the same man is saying that is now saying this about Rihanna, right? In Fear of Heights. He said, why they make it sound like I'm hung up on you? Well, you made songs about her and you did interviews to the New York Times saying that you were a pawn and she used you and you're heartbroken. So why did it make it sound like I'm hung up on you? Let's answer his question. Because you are, sir. That could never be. It was gal can't ruin me no drake you ruined yourself you literally got a, a a literal adult actress that was trying to trap every guy in the industry that you're every single guy and she wound up on your dumb self and you were dipping and diving with a p-star unprotected rumor has it while you were still dating riri and you got that girl pregnant and you so embarrassed of it did you hit the kid and just now after you think that you washed her image into being like what an artist and she your baby mm, anyway right they said uh da -da 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 -da. okay anyway just for just remember that this man once professed that he was in love with rihanna okay now he's saying she's nothing special oh he better gal can't ruin me better him than me better it's not me i know rihanna was like but it, it don't matter whether it's you him them it was never going to be you J drake it was never going to be you what you mean better you than me he said i'm anti anti you better worry about getting your streams up remember he said that he was gonna like release his album the same day as doja cat and destroy her album and her week what happened with that drake what happened you slipping you slipping too many albums you need to take a break oh wait he is taking a uh a break he said yeah the S was average with you because I'm anti because I had it with you and I had way better B's than you to be honest yeah that man he's still with you he can't leave you y'all go on vacation I bet it's Antilles he said I ain't pretty flocko B this ish got real rocky y'all Drake is so corny listen it's just oh god he's so corny i feel, i know rihanna that you know i know rihanna like wishes she never like hooked up with him at lucky strikes even that so anyway he said this about uh presented this is what he said about rihanna when he presented her at the vanguard award this is years ago he said we love music which could change styles from album to album we love the videos which changed their artistic vision from year to year but most of all we love the woman who hasn't changed since day one She's someone I've been in love with since I was 22 years old. She's one of my best friends in the world. Listen, <laughs> remember, and they said, unfortunately, Rihanna didn't enjoy Drake's public declaration of love, saying waiting through that speech was probably the most uncomfortable part. I don't like too many compliments. I don't like to be put on blast. Y'all, listen. Congrats to Riri and Rocky, but st speaking of Rocky, Relly is in here literally performing as much as he can. He is giving the Rob Kardashian recounting of his run-in with ASAP Rocky. If you guys don't know, ASAP Rocky is currently on trial for Relly. Relly is saying that he tried to attempt murk him. Um, ASAP is saying it was nothing of the sort that wasn't me and what's more this is nothing but a shakedown because you broke and you desperate and you're trying to get money again we don't know if any of this is true but judging by the evidence it doesn't look like Relly's telling the truth listen to this recounting right Relly told the court he planned to meet up with asap on november 6th to talk it out but things quickly turned south 
He grabbed me by the collar. He was shaking me. I tried to push him off. Get his hands off. Rocky pulled up from his waistband. It was a standard clip of semi-automatic black. Bang, bang. He pointed it toward my stomach. He said, I'll murk you right now. He said, oh, he was angry. He had the bang, bang. He pressed it up against me to my chest, then my head. I said, shoot it, because I was mad. I said, why you bring a bang, bang if you're not going to use it? I will never bring a weapon. <laughs> not in that situation. Rocky turned around and blinked me. Now, let's just think about it. And I know it's a recounting, but even that. So he went, grabbed you by the collar, shook you in the middle of a street. ASAP Rocky pulled something, a hammer out of his waistband, press it up to your stomach, then your chest, then your head. And you was like, do it, do it. Man, shut up. Shut your dumb self up, really. Like, this sound like, this sound like what Soldier Boy was like, yeah. And then the boys, they came up my apartment. I was like, pop, but up, right? Anyway, um, listen, he's suing for more than 25,000 in general damages, additional money to recover his medical bills and punitive damages of an unspecified amount in civil court. Y'all, all this, all this, because ASAP wouldn't pay him 30,000. Y'all listen, ASAP got a few dollars. He can beat the case. They have not found any evidence. It is Relly's word against him. And Relly's already been known to lie quite a few times. Listen, I'll keep my eyes on this, but this looks like a big nothing burger. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Bye.